Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, meteorologist Craig Majeski here back on the Weather Nerds YouTube channel. I wanted to give you an update here on what you can expect with our non-tropical storm, storm that's out in the Gulf of Mexico. Not looking healthy this morning at still a broad air circulation. We're just not getting those thunderstorms around the center of circulation for a quote-unquote true tropical system. But despite that, we're still looking at some very heavy rains that we're going to expect along the Texas Gulf Coast and down into Mexico. So uh, that is going to be a problem as we continue to watch this system uh, begin to evolve here uh, for today. So again, we're looking at a, uh, again, a very broad area of circulation sitting right in here uh, as this thing continues to track off uh, in this general direction. So we're going to be looking at landfall probably sometime tonight uh, as it moves inland for uh, tonight and that'll bring a lot of heavy rains. Then we may see another system on the heels of this, almost a clone system just like it uh, with another system in the days ahead. So we got a couple areas to watch this as we go forward. Here is the latest from the National Hurricane Center. As you can see, the coordinates there at 22.7 north and 93.6 west. That says with the five o'clock advisory. Notice the wind field. It is a very big wind field. We've got tropical storm force winds up to 40 miles per hour, but again, not a tropical system, just a broad area, low pressure here uh, as this moves on in. It's gonna be dropping uh, some uh, tremendous amounts of rain in this area uh, as we go uh, through the next uh, next 24 to 48 hours, that's for sure. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and highlight the, the rain totals here. Uh, again, this is from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, still looking at the ranges uh, generally in that six to eight range along the coast, but look at some of the interior sections there. Uh, as you head in toward uh, central portions of Mexico. I mean, we're talking about some very, uh, obviously a little bit of mountains in this area. Uh, they could see some uplift in that area. So that's that's part of the problem there. We see those little brighter reds in there up to 12 inches. Uh, so definitely could be a problem for the folks in Mexico to say the least. Okay, here's the spaghetti plot pretty much going with what we just saw there. Everything's kind of moving in that general direction, not seeing any issues there. Uh, with that. No major changes there uh, on that as we continue to watch this. And we'll see how things begin to evolve. Let's go ahead and take a look at the model data. I do want to go ahead and step you through that. Uh, and we'll see how this is going to work out. So let me switch over to here. This is the latest uh, European uh, model data here. And we're going to go ahead and, and step you through this as we go through uh, tonight. Okay, let me get out of the way. Here we go. So again, that big load is going to move on in to Mexico and a lot of heavy rains along the Texas Gulf Coast. It's going to be uh, high surf warnings. In fact, there's, there are surf and gale warnings all along, along the Gulf Coast uh, for today. Definitely not a good day for be out in the water. But this one moves inland here as we go into Thursday, well inland, and then on its heels, we're going to watch another one start to form here uh, as we go into this upcoming weekend. So we see another little roundup there. Uh, uh, this one may be a little bit further north, but again, some more torrential rains uh, moving into the same areas that are going to get pounded uh, now over the next uh, day or so. So they'll get another round here into this weekend uh, and going into early next week. And before it finally looks like things begin to settle down, it looks like the rest of the Gulf uh, remains quiet. Nothing approaching the East Coast here uh, as we go through the next seven days. So, uh, But uh, going back here to the, again to the beginning here, to the beginning of this model run, again, you can see that low. Uh, looks like sometime after midnight tonight, the center of circulation should be moving on in and heading toward tomorrow morning. So uh, sometimes after sometime after midnight tonight, making landfall and moving in. And so it doesn't look like we're going to get Alberto officially out of this. Uh, again, not, I, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, I'm not a huge fan of what the Hurricane Center is putting out with this because I think it just <clears throat> it confuses people. So, all right, here's the latest radar here along the Texas Gulf Coast. Again, we're starting to get some of those heavier rains will be moving in from Corpus Christi down toward Brownsville for today. Uh, even heading up toward uh, areas up toward, say, Houston. Uh, so still looking at some pretty good uh, heavy rains here uh, coming up this way. I can switch radars up to, up to the coast here. You can see it up toward Houston, getting some rains up this way as well and over toward Louisiana. But the heaviest of rains uh, should be concentrated down here in South Texas. Uh, that's where the flooding will be uh, at its highest risk. And they're gonna get a break and then we'll get some more activity that's gonna come that way as we head into this upcoming weekend. So uh, again, we're gonna be looking at this very closely here for later today. We'll see, maybe if something changes, maybe we get a tropical storm before landfall. But right now, 
Hurricane Center is not anticipating that here for the moment, and uh, we will see how this thing evolves before it makes landfall heading into tonight. And uh, we'll see how the rest of the activity looks as we head into the upcoming weekend, see if we get another storm this weekend. But we got a long hurricane season in front of us. We're going to be watching it closely here on the Weather Nerds channel. So if you could please do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so you're later on future content. And uh, let me know what you think. I do appreciate the feedback here on the channel. Okay, that's a quick update. I did a recorded version of a live version <laughs> to upload. We'll try see if we get a little better play on YouTube with that. All right, that's it for now. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.